Share on Facebook Share on Twitter Chairman of the Presidential Advisory Committee Against Corruption, PACAC, has given reasons why President Muhammadu Buhari can't prosecute ex-presidents Olu Abasanjo and good luck Jonathan. Speaking to Punch in a recent interview, Sege said the nation was not prepared for such, speaking from a peripheral level, unlike in South Africa, Brazil, and other countries, we don't have a history or culture in this country of prosecuting our former presidents. It will take a long time, when we've developed and become more mature, to do that kind of thing. Right now, if you touch a former president, the storm that it will bring will be so diversionary and disturbing that, it will affect your capacity to do positive things for the citizens. In my own thinking, you have to leave them alone and go for those who carried out the act of looting. He advocated for media trials to be organized for looters who amassed wealth illegally from the nation's treasury. He stated this while commenting on a statement by Chief Abbasanjo that the current administration was just making noise about the war against corruption. I don't agree with him. No yes should be made because you cannot reduce us to this level of poverty and wretchedness and think the government will continue to hide your name from the public. Even if a person has yet to be convicted, let them be subjected to the odium of public contempt so that when you see his child driving a Rolls Royce, you should be able to point at him and say, that's a car bought with our stolen treasury that you are driving, I support media trial, let the looters be tried in the press. If they feel there is anything wrong with it, let them sue the government, they have the right to sue if they didn't steal, Sege also revealed that the government was going to publish the names of 55 persons it said allegedly looted and 1.34 TN under the Jonathan regime. Send your press releases, articles and write-ups to via email protected.